Hey y'all, this is Patricia here. I just wanted to show you how to create a um, greeting card, a Christmas greeting card with a globe on it. How to pretty much create your own globe um, as a greeting card. So I'm going to go ahead on and get started. Um, this is Photoshop that I am using. So if you don't know Photoshop, um, you can just follow along and you may learn something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new layer on this new layer we're gonna keep it the color it is for now I'm gonna add a new layer I'm gonna go here and we're gonna go to the ellipse tool So right now, all we're doing is we're creating, we creating like the circle, and that's our that's our ellipse tool. Of course, we're gonna definitely change the color because that's not the color that we want. So we're gonna go back in. We we'll change the color to um white, and of course you you won't be able to see it right now until after I um put a drop shadow on it so now we have a drop shadow so I'm going to press OK um, and so once I do the globe I'm also going to do the little um, piece that goes to the top of that globe so this can be of color because it's going to be changed either way it go um, that doesn't really matter um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to change the color to to um, black. We're going to change that color to black just so that you can see it. Just so you're able to see it. And so we're going to make three. We're going to make one of those and then I'm going to start a new layer and we're going to have a little ellipse. We're going to take that ellipse and that one can be a color because we need it to be about the same um, almost the same so that it fits so that it's able to fit and it, it isn't too big or anything like that that's hard see bring it up just a little bit and see if that works it looks like it's too big so what I'm doing is um, shrinking it so it kind of fits with the edge of what we have okay so as you can see where the pink is that just kind of shows you that um, it does line up and so once we do that I'm gonna turn the eye off on this one because I don't really need it right now so I'm just gonna turn the eye off on it and so I'm gonna go here what I, what I did is I brought both of those together and so what I'm going to do is merge these shapes so now that the shapes are merged we are definitely going to change the color so that you're able to see it better so we've merged the shapes we're going to make two more it's going to go side by side and I'm going to go over just to give it a little room once and then I'm going to do the other one and go over so we have a little room twice. And so they are even, so that should be good right there. So once I do that, we're going to merge those three together. 
merge the shapes. So now it's actually just one shape. So now we're going to go back in. We're going to get another re a rectangle. We got to make a new layer because it's going to be on a totally different layer from this. So we're making a new layer. We're going to make sure it's even. Bring it down just a tad bit. Not that much, but just a little bit. So once we do that, we're going to merge the layers again. So we're going to merge these shapes. So now all of those shapes are all together. So once I've merged this shape, um, the little piece that goes at the top of the bulb, that's what we're creating now, that little piece, as you can see here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change that color. And so we're going to go for a gradient color. And the gradient color is that gold, and it kind of gives it that curved look. And so, we're going to give it a little drop shadow. We'll come back to it once we finish the other part. So, although it's there, we're going to, uh-uh. We're going to keep it. What did I do? Okay, the gradient's there. I think I pressed cancel. That's probably why. And then we have the job shadow. And so we're going to press OK. And so we have that. And so, of course, we're just going to put that on the side here. And so now we're going to start working inside of our globe, which our globe is here. Um. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. I just think it's, well, I can keep it. I can keep it as big as it is just so you guys can see it so that you can actually see everything. So I'm going to keep it the size it is. So next I'm going to go and I'm going to create a new layer. With that new layer, we're going to go back. We're going to make another circle, which is here. Of course, that circle has a color to it. We're going to change that color and we're going to make that color a lighter gray. We're going to press OK. At least I thought it did. Let's see. We're going to press OK. And so now we've made it a lighter gray. I think I'm going to um, decrease the size just a tad bit. Make sure we put it back in the center. So now I've decreased the size a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my filter. And I'm going to go to blur. I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. And I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And as you can see, you can barely see it, but it is there. Um, it's at 36.0. I'm going to press OK. And so now I've done that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to... Um, before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my color back on. We're going to turn this background color back on because you want to be able to see everything. So I'm going to turn this color back on. I'm going to change that color. And we're going to go with the red. Maybe a darker red. So we're going to do a dark red. And so now we have a dark, the darker red. Um, so now that we have that darker red, what we also going to do with this one is we're going to turn the opacity down just a tad bit. As you can see here, we turned it down just a tad bit. We don't want to turn it down all the way, just a tad bit. So we turned it down. We're at 93%. Okay. So now this is that layer. 
So we're going to go just above that layer. We're going to click on a new layer. We're going to go to File, Place Embedded. I'm just going to look for one that I may like. I'm not sure what it is. So I'm basically just looking. Because I don't have them. Um. I don't have wording for whichever one. So we're going to use her. So I'm going to bring her in and click place. So we have her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it just a tad bit bigger so it can be seen. And you can make her as big as you want to. That's entirely up to you. And so once I do that, what I'm going to do is this ellipse that I'm turning on and off. I always want to make a copy of it. And the reason I make a copy of it is in case I mess up um, once I rasterize, I'm always able to go back and um, use it. So I turned that one off. I copied it and then I turned it off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to... Um, rasterize the layer so that layer is rasterized um this is her and so we're gonna rasterize her as well so once they're rasterized we're gonna go in and we're gonna create a clipping mask so now as you can see i just made a clipping mask she's inside there and so of course we need um we need some some items to the back or some things to the back so i created a new layer I'm going to go in, I'm going to place in bed. We're going to go find something else, maybe something Christmassy. Let's see. We're going to see if she, I don't think we want that one. I'm just looking for something um, Christmassy. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to use this. And so what we're going to do is let's go with this. We're going to place that. And so I'll make it a little bit smaller. Of course. Make it smaller. And so we're going to take it and we're going to go underneath the girl because we want it in the background. And so we place, placed it in the background. If you need to bring her over, you can actually bring her over so you can read the Merry Christmas part of it. So we're just making sure we have everything. We have this. So we have it white. It's white, but I bought it, brought it down some. 
so it can have a different um, look to it. That's why I did it like that grayish or what have you. So... Let's bring it back up. We're gonna bring it back up just a tad bit, and then what we're gonna do with this one is bring the opacity down. transform I'm not sure why it's um why the red I'm not sure where it went wrong at with the red but that's okay we just we'll still bring it out some and see what happens so we brought it out and then as you can see and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it it looks like a ball and so now we're gonna um, utilize the effect here. Oh, I know what we didn't do. We're gonna go back. That's why we. That's why it kind of looks like that. Let's start. I release we release both of those because we want to make sure that color stands out and that's what it is it's way too big uh oh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna delete this we're going to turn these off so you don't, so I don't confuse you. I'm going to turn this one off and this one off. And then what I'm going to do is give you another ellipse. Ellipse here. We're going to make that ellipse smaller. And then we're gonna go back into our filter, and we're gonna go to um, gonna go back into the filter, and we're gonna go to blur, Gaussian blur. We gotta convert it to a smart object, and then there we are. And so we've done that already. But also something I wanted to do as well, um, we want to be able to put to make it look much more realistic. So we're going to put some snow. We're going to start do a new layer. So we're going to do a new layer and we're just going to put some snow on it. And where the gray is, that's how you're able to see like the little snow, um, the little areas for the snow. And it's okay if it goes outside because you can you can you can definitely erase that. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my eraser and I'm gonna erase everything that's around it. Okay, so now you can see the snow.
So, and so what happened to, oh, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Let's go back up. It's going to go behind her. We got to turn it on. And there we go. And so now we have this. And so now we have like a globe or what have you. Um, you can put a family portrait in it. You can put whatever you want in it. Um, now if you decide you can work on the outside, you can put, um, Merry Christmas. You can actually put some snowflakes or something on the outside of that, on the outside of the card. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, Merry Christmas. I'm going to change the text. Wanted to be. Uh, we wanted to um, look centered. So I think we're gonna put it the words together. I think that that looks better. And so, you can also use like a certain style or something. Like here, we got Merry Christmas. It has like a style to it. You can do something also similar to this. Um, you can do that. Um, that's entirely up to you. You can do something like this, like that. It doesn't matter. Um, that's entirely up to you, how you want to place your words or what have you. So I don't really like that, so I'm going to undo, I don't really care for this, so I was trying to undo it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to trash, but I'm going to use the same font. So I'm going to go back up again, and I'm going to put Merry Christmas. So I have something that says Merry Christmas here. And then you can also put um, if you want something to look like a bow or something like that, you can actually um, put something like this and make sure it goes behind. So you want to make sure it goes behind. You can actually change that color by going FX. I'm going to just do gradient. And it kind of changes it to what we already have. So it's behind it. I'm just trying to grab it, guys. Edit, pre transform. I'm basically trying to make it bigger, longer, but it's. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to bring it down. And 
and so if you have like a bow or something you can add a bow there and I don't think I have any I'm going to go to my um, custom shape tools which is here and I'm going to see if I have any but I don't think I have any let's see No, I don't have any. And so, um, let's see if I can go in, in here and see if we can find something. I'm not sure that we will, but we can definitely try. Um, I'm actually going to use this as well because we can use this as a, as a, um, like a design on the card itself. Because we've already started designing it, so we can use that, kind of use that as a design itself. Um, and I really don't like that, so let's see. So we're going to get rid of it. We're going to put it in the trash. So we're going to go back in, place embedded. So we just we just testing to see how everything looks and so and so I kind of like how that looks. I'm going to take this and bring it back down. Actually, instead of going through all of that, I'm just going to erase, um, do the eraser. Uh -oh. Undo. I wasn't on the layer. That's why you saw it erasing and it looked white. I need to be on the actual layer. Okay, this is the layer. And that's what happens when you don't, um, that's what happens when you don't uh, name your layers. Sometimes I'm lazy, so I don't always name my layers. And so that's what happens when you don't, when you don't, uh, when you don't do that. I need to put the brush size down. It's too big. And so I'm just trying to do it so that it comes up off that C a little. And there we go. And then if you want to put something to the bottom, you can actually change this and you can put it gold if you want to. Um, I'm going to go with the gradient color. As you can see here, we're going to do a drop shadow. Um, I don't know if I want that drop shadow to be that white color. So we're going to go and we're going to just look at it and see, um, see what color we want it to be, that drop color. And I think I want to add a stroke as well.
And so that drop shadow, you're going to bring that spread out, spread in. I know this isn't your typical Christmas card, but I wanted to do something that looked different. Um, something that actually looked different from what we typically see. Um, usually we always see in the same, pretty much the same types of, um, Christmas cards. So I wanted to do something that was just a tad bit different from what we typically, typically would see. And so you can actually add you a few more, um, like it's snowing, add a few more, which is what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to take that layer because I don't want it over my um, other stuff. And I'm going to put it in the back. So we got it in the back. And then we have Merry Christmas. Um, if you want to put your name, of course, the globe looks big. And the globe actually is big because I wanted it to be as big as it is so that you're able to see exactly what I was doing. And so here to the bottom, you can actually put... Um, you can actually put, um, say, for instance, if you wanted to put your name or if it's, you know, your family name or anything like that, you can actually put your family name and all of that stuff. So what we're doing is we're going up. I just took it to go up some. And so that picture that I put in there, you can actually, it doesn't have to be a picture from Feathers of Style. It can actually be a picture from um, your family. It can be your family portrait. Um, that's why I love, that's why I love this because you don't have to go with, um, with these pictures. You can actually do your family picture. Um, you can do like your family picture. I think to me that looks a little bit too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it, make sure it has that roundness. So we made it a little bit smaller than what it was to give it that true roundness. And then I think what I'm going to do with that drop shadow, I don't really like how the drop shadow, shadow looks. It's a little um, too big for me. And then we're going to do the distance. And so that might be a little bit better. And so I think I like how that like that how that how looks. Um, if you want to add the name to the bottom, you can actually add the name to the bottom. Um, you can put something like from the Davis family. So it, if you do decide that you want to put your own picture, you can actually put your family portrait there and you can also put like something in the background behind your family's portrait. Or if you took family pictures, you can take those actual family pictures and put inside of that globe as well. And so we don't want to stay with that, that color. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a gradient. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here, right click, copy layer style, click back on here, and then I'm going to paste the same layer style from there to here. And so there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to uh, message me um, via Facebook or you can answer like ask questions in the group um my facebook name is patricia tiki which is t-e-a-k-i-e -E davis um you can see all of that on my youtube channel how to get to me from my youtube station thank you guys i hope this has helped you all but if you decide you're not making a christmas card 
that globe can also be used any other way that you choose to as well. And this was done in Photoshop. Thank you guys. You have a great day. Bye.